Hello there, Christ Church. It's Pastor Ben here. I hope you are well, and I hope you're warm. And I hope the uh, severe weather, the ice this week, freezing rain, didn't uh, cause you too many difficulties, if any. This week in worship, the first Sunday of Lent, we're going to be in Mark's Gospel, chapter 1. And it's going to include the baptism of Jesus, which in some ways uh, we've already preached and taught about this year. But if you read on, you get into the story of Jesus being tempted in the wilderness. And that's followed by just a few short uh, verses of Scripture that um, sometimes I think get overlooked or lost in this uh, passage uh, because we're so focused on the baptism or the experience in the wilderness. But at the end, it says, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. What do we mean when we talk about the kingdom of God? We use that language in prayers, liturgies, music. We kind of talk about the kingdom of God a lot, but we don't actually sort of have a one-line definition. But if you glean from Scripture, Jesus is teaching and preaching in parables, you can start to get a pretty good sense. So we're going to talk about that this week in worship. And we're going to talk about what it means to move from living in the kingdom of this world to living in the kingdom of God. Some of that has to do with how we shape our own lives and practices and values and priorities. And that has me thinking about Lent and Lenten disciplines. And just wanted to share a couple of things I'm doing in the season of Lent and see if they might be helpful for you. So one of the things that I'm doing, and started actually at the beginning of the year, and I'm going to do during Lent, is I'm reading through the Bible in a year. I'm using one of those plans that sort of breaks it up, so I'm not reading it literally Genesis to Revelation, uh, but reading uh, an Old Testament passage and a New Testament uh, passage each week. Uh, and so far, I have been through Genesis and Job. Now I'm in Exodus. I've looked at Galatians, um, some of the Psalms. Um, so, you know, you could start that in Lent and read through next Lent. That's one thing I'm doing. The other thing I'm doing, which uh, as part of Black History Month, I wasn't aware of until recently, but wanted to share with you is a podcast that I'm listening to. Uh, and it's from the Chapel Hill Public Library, and it's called Recollecting Chapel Hill. And it has uh, wonderful stories, um, some of them heartbreaking, wonderful, beautiful. Um, but it walks through some folks who are part of our history in Chapel Hill, walks through some of the markers, and it's particularly focused on Black history, it talks about uh, the Civil War, the cemetery. Uh, it talks about uh, some of the leaders right now. Um, it's been really interesting to listen to, and I would just encourage you. Uh, it's called Recollecting Chapel Hills, put out by the Chapel Hill Library, and it's part of my Lenten discipline and focus on black history. I'm listening to that podcast. I wonder what other things you might be doing. I'd love to hear about them. I'd love to have a chance to connect with you. Again, praying for you. If your number's up, get vaccinated. Even if you've been vaccinated, stay vigilant, wear those masks, keep the distance. It was great to see many of you in the imposition of ashes. Stay well. We miss you dearly. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.